Installing a fast fuel system on your motorhome will have many benefits, including improved fuel economy, better water separation with our extreme water separator, and you're going to be removing all the dirt and particulates out of that fuel down to two micron absolute. Now, each motorhome application is going to vary, but we're going to be doing an installation today and walking you through all the basic steps and everything that it takes to install a fast fuel system on your diesel pusher motorhome. Let's go ahead and get this installation started. Now for the first step, you're going to want to find a good mounting location for the FAST system. Now in this application, the factory fuel filter water separator is located here all the way in the back. Now we will be removing that and putting the FAST system in its place. Now this is a very good time to bring up a point on how we can improve the fuel economy. On this one, the fuel tank is mounted almost all the way in front of the motorhome. Now the factory lift pump on the engine has to draw the fuel all the way from that fuel tank in the front and through this water separator in the back, then up to the engine. This setup right here simulates the factory fuel filter and lift pump on your motorhome. So as the fuel gets drawn from the fuel tank into the fuel filter element, you can see there's already entrained air in the diesel fuel. And once you go through this filter element and put the fuel under vacuum up to the lift pump, that introduces air vapor into the diesel fuel. Now the lift pump is going to be pumping that air vapor in the diesel fuel and entrained air up to your fuel injectors, which can reduce fuel economy. It reduces the lubricity in your fuel injection system, which can increase the wear of all your components in your injection system, your fuel injectors, injection pump. And let's face it, you're not gonna to wanna to be on the side of the road when you could be out enjoying some time with your family. Once we install the FAST system, regardless of how agitated the fuel is in your fuel tank, the fuel is going to get drawn up into the FAST. You can see there's entrained air in here. It will go through our particulate filter. It'll get pressurized through the motor. Then it'll go through our extreme water separator. And after the water separator, any excess fuel, air vapor, or entrained air will be getting returned back to the fuel tank, and you'll be supplying your engine with pure diesel fuel. So if you're running your motor home at a full tank with cool fuel or at a quarter tank with hot aerated fuel, you're going to get consistent performance throughout your drive time. Now let's go ahead and head back to the RV and get our fast system installed. Disconnect the suction and feed lines from the factory fuel filter housing. Drain all of the fuel from the factory fuel water separator. Now the fuel filter housing can be removed from the motorhome. If necessary, mark the mounting location of the FAST system and drill the four mounting holes. Using the supplied 3 8 bolts, nuts, and rubber isolator, mount the FAST system to the previously drilled mounting location. Install the suction fitting into the suction side of the FAST system. Now each application will vary slightly, so you may need to select the proper fitting to adapt the factory lines to the FAST system. Connect the suction line to the suction side of the FAST. Install the engine feed fitting into the E port of the FAST system and tighten accordingly. And again, you may need to select a custom fitting to properly suit your application. Apply a thin layer of grease to the fuel filter O-rings and install them on the FAST system. Be sure to follow the diagram on the side of the filters for their proper location. Loosely install the return fitting onto the R port of the FAS. Using grease, 
Install PL2003 into FL1002. Install PL2003 onto the R port of the FAS and tighten accordingly. Apply the supplied dielectric grease to the relay pigtail. Install the relay into the harness, then install the relay protector. Install the supplied fuse into the fuse holder of the FAS harness. Secure the relay in an upright position, then connect the electrical connector to the FAS motor. Now locate a key on power source that will be used to power the FAS motor on. Be sure that this is not the accessory position, again that it is the engine run position. Locate a 12 volt battery source and using the supplied ring terminals, connect the red wire of the FAS harness to the positive terminal and the green wire of the FAS harness to the negative battery terminal. Each application will vary as far as routing the fast return line, but they can either be plumbed in to the fuel fill tube like we've shown in this video, or you can plumb the fast return directly back to the fuel tank. Now the fast system will continually polish the fuel in your fuel tank. Say if you have a 165 gallon per hour pump, if the engine's only using five gallons per hour, you're continually cycling 160 gallons per hour through the fast filters and back through the fuel tank. And what this is going to do, it's going to ensure the fuel in your fuel tank is getting cleaned while you're driving, while you're idling, anytime the fast is running. What's very helpful about this, say you're driving across the country, you come across a rural fuel station with questionable fuel quality. Well, you're not gonna have to worry about that because the fast system is going to remove over 99% of the water that's in the fuel and any other contaminants down to two microns. If you operate your RV in cold weather conditions, you'll be happy to know that FAST offers three different fuel heating options. Our electric heater probes can be installed in our two electric heater ports. We have a high output heater disc that can be installed above our particulate filter. And you can also plumb engine coolant to the coolant heating ports on the FAST filter base. And what this does is the engine warms up and as the coolant warms up, the coolant will heat the filter base and further prevent fuel from gelling in your FAST filters. If you guys have any questions at all regarding the FAST installation or the FAST heating options, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out to our technical service department. They'll be happy to help.